It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Tonight we've got a good AFC matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs. And now here comes Kansas City. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, now a swing pass, it's Edwards Alaire. Four yards the pick up, first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play too, didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it, just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes now to throw. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The last run got six, now second and four. They go play action, now Mahomes. That ball is caught, Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 25-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. On first down, Mahomes. This one is caught. It's Moore. Touchdown! Sky Moore. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal. And it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going.
touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And no thought of a return here for Hines. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Naeem Hines, his first carry. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. They run again on first down, Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, helped their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. This is Hines. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, right back to Hines. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down at 48. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. And this is Cook with a grab. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They've got the 7 to nothing lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. One of the good things offenses did years ago was they lettered their gaps the same on each side. A gap between guard and center on either side. That's what you want to control when you're trying to run the ball up the middle. And why is that? Because typically you either have a big nose guard in there in an odd front, three-man front, or you have defensive tackles that might line up in the A-gaps trying to gain an advantage and get upfield themselves. If you can control that, it gives the back plenty of space to pick and choose where to go. And there, a great inside run broke the contact and got some space.
On second down, a run with Edwards alone. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Yeah, once more, a strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now here's Mahomes. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. He comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Mahomes again here on second and 10. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. But it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Arrowhead, it's the Chiefs in possession as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Mahomes taps this forward, it's a jet sweep. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Got his man complete. More. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco punching it in from a yard away. And the Chiefs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protected. They had determination on their side, and they got it done.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling OK. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now we'll throw here to his running back. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. First down, here's the run with Cook. Taken down at the 42. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Cook. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Two straight four-yard runs, and it is steadily working the ball downfield. To me, they're staying right on schedule. First down, you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive. They're getting exactly that. Well, they come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run it. Here's Cook. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. KC's offense ready to take over. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Looking to throw is Mahomes. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Mahomes going to throw. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. He's going to have the first down and more than that. But he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw complete there to Moore. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Now the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. 
Now it's Mahomes again. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. A nice gain of 21 yards. That's a nice job right there. Get the ball out to the perimeter. Get it to your guy in space. And he's just going to take this, turn up field, and turn it into a big play in first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. It's largely been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Escapes the sack. And he'll just get rid of it. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at a third and goal here. He finds more in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Butker on for the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And this, you'd hate to say that a drive in the first half must end in points, but you're down 21-0. They're going to have to get something going fairly quickly. I would agree totally with that because if you're going to mount the comeback, it's going to have to come in bits and pieces. It doesn't just all come at one time, right? We haven't seen anything more than a six-point touchdown ever in this game, right? So that's how it has to be done. Get points on the board now. Start your comeback. But you're exactly right. Let's get it going right here in this spot. Second and 16. From the gun, it's Allen. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the delay, here's Hines. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. 
A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Able to slither by. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. And they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Here's Tony on the quick slam. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense... He finds Moore in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great effort there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Chiefs continue to pull away here in this first half. Butker now to add the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Bills ready to take over. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. So from the 36 now, first and 10.
to throw. It's Allen. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down at 17. Here's Allen to throw it. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Ooh, the juke. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Throwing now is Mahomes. That pass complete to Moore. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Final shot before the half from the homes to the sideline, and oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet, he's going to have the first down. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. On second and one, Allen toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, Allen. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. On the move past the 40. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big play here for Buffalo. 44 yards. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride, and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him was like him receiving a baton, and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. Allen now on first down. 
Shakir holds it in. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. On second down, Cook, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They run with Hines. And power running here down to the six-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. To the air, Allen. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Bills. Gabriel Davis from six yards away. And the Bills are able to cut into that deficit. So that, Charles, their first score of the ball game, obviously, coming here in the third quarter. Is that going to be enough to energize the troops? It's a great question, and we'll wait to see the answer, but it's finally something for them to build on. Now they know that they can actually score against that defense. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Mahomes now to throw to Valdez Scantling over the middle. A gain of eight there on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Now here's Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots, 
They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. To throw, it's Mahomes. Quick slant to Valdez Scantling. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 44-yard line. With that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll give them eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. I just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. 20. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. A defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he goes down at the 26. A pickup of 13, and that last play began at the 13. First down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I would describe the way that he's played today as mature. He's already moved on mentally from that incompletion, and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Sideline throw, it's complete. 
And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Mahomes gonna throw. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. On play action, it's Mahomes. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. Mahomes' throw complete there to Rice. And it showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. In his own end zone, it's Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. On play action, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, he's a diminutive receiver, Charles. Not a ton of size, but still able to bring that in against double coverage. I think that's a great job by him of understanding angles because you mentioned his size. He's not going to go over the top of someone or body someone out of the way. He's got to make sure he creates enough space for himself by getting people into the wrong spot on defense, moving them with his body, and then showing his numbers to the quarterback to be open. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Allen. And his throw is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Allen again. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Here's Allen to throw it. They'll roll him out right. And they're going to get this up to midfield. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. 
deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's got room. The 20, 10. 74 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So all the way down close to the goal line. Good blocking up front. Helped to spring it. When this drive is over, he's got to get to the bench and send Kumbaya with the offensive line, doesn't he? Big time openings for him. Gets him all the way down to the two-yard line. Let's see if they can pound it in. Allen going to throw. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Bills go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's go, baby. Let's have some fun. Let's play. Let's play now, baby. Let's play. Hey, hey, this is where you step up. Let's go out here, baby. Let's have some fun. Let's get something going. It's about that time. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's do this. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing now is Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline.
So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Throwing on first down is Allen. And this one is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get them the completion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. But well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. And you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Now come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Allen on third. Uncorks one for Davis. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Here's Sam Martin now, standing just about on his own goal line. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 38. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. To the right side, it's Kelsey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. Here we go. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Mahomes now on first down. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here into the hands of Moore. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again. And he's also made adjustments as the defense has tried to really stop him. Hands it off out of the gun. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it 
or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. So the completion results there in nine yards, and they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Mahomes now to throw. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Butker on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no thought of a return here for Hines. Allen and the Bills now. Down by two touchdowns. A little under two and a half to go. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. Play action. Now it's Allen. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. From the 29, Allen, pass complete to Hines. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Allen's throw is complete, and he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Allen. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. 
Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Allen. That swung out wide to Harris. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. He got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing is Allen. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. That means there's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. One final try here for Allen. Has his man, it's Shakir. And he is going to have the Bills first down as this defense cannot come up with a play that they need. In fact, they surrender a big chunk, 17 yards there on fourth down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Buffalo set to get the football back here. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Here's Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like bats, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Sliding out of the pocket. This is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The highest scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you have to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan. They all scout. They all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely.